Wow! Hey everyone, welcome back to Fake Gamers for Booze. Uh, today we are reviewing uh, Psycho, aka uh, Gundam Style by Psy. <laughs> I hate myself. So, anyways, yeah, this movie uh, came out a while ago. Like, wow, a while ago. Yeah, like two, three years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it, realistically, it came out like, uh, God, I don't even know when. early 60s. Early 60s. I thought it would be like, uh, probably 1950s, maybe. Yeah, so, or I think, yeah, like, I think 61 or 1960, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, um, this was like, my first time seeing this movie, um, because... But, uh, like, I knew, like, the basic, like, about Norman Bates and yeah. the mother and, um, of course, the infamous shower scene. That's, like, kind of history. Kinda. Yeah, that's the only thing I knew about but, in this movie. And this was my first time seeing it, and, man, I really liked it. It was, I thought it was really good. I thought it was okay, honestly. Um, it stands out, but not really at the same time. Um, like it was genuinely creepy. Like he yeah. was, he was very. Norman was very. It was the actor did such a great job. Like he was, t like really creepy. Like, yeah. You could like tell that he was like kind of. I would say it got progressively creepier as the movie the, went yeah. on. Yeah, to the build up like suspense and stuff. Yeah, but, like the last five minutes were probably like yeah. what made the movie for me. Like, yeah. I already knew the shower scene, so that didn't really affect me at all. Yeah. Um, I didn't know about, like, the detective, so when that, like, popped up, I was like, oh, my... The, the, the what? The, when the, the, the detective got murdered, I didn't know about that, so it oh. just jumped out of nowhere, and I was like, oh. Yeah. I feel like I've seen that before, but I don't know for sure. Yeah. I, yeah, like, I thought this was really good. This is, um... I will say it is probably it's not like one of my favorite horror movies, but you know yeah. this is still really good. Yeah. I um this is pretty solid. I feel like it's way ahead of its time for the '60s. Um, that's just how I think. Um, because this was before like um, because I know they like during this during like the time they had a bunch of codes and stuff, and this was a pretty gutsy to do this kind of subject and stuff yeah um yeah so this this um i it didn't really feel like an eternity like the movie we did last week <coughs> yeah um jaws it, it was the story was pretty interesting you have um woman who um she um she wants to run away with um her boyfriend um so she steals um forty thousand forty two thousand dollars that she was supposed to bring to the bank. So she's kind of just on the run. There's yeah. like a cop following her because she's being really suspicious, you know. Yeah, the usual. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I I will be honest. I did not get what was happening the first thirty minutes of the movie. It took me a second to put two and two together. Yeah, I, like about half an hour, forty five minutes in, I was yeah. like, oh, I see now. She's stealing the money. Um, but I didn't really get it for the most part at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, so she she's just driving, she runs into the Bates uh motel. Yeah. Um, you know. She she kinda she has some conversations with Norman. She, yeah. he's being very friendly, but then there's like times where he's actually pretty creepy and kinda threatening. Yeah. Like, um, he, he, uh, you could tell he liked her. Yeah. Uh, right off the bat. Um, and when they went in the room, he basically, like, as he talked, he started to, like, just, I, I don't know how to put it, he just stopped making more and more sense, kind of, like, getting less descriptive, and yeah. he started talking slower in lots more spaces. Yeah, it was... 
Yeah, I thought it was pretty interesting when they were when he was talking about like his like views on life and stuff. It was I kind of like when you when you for like um a villain when you have when they when they talk about like their views on life just to get like their like kind of perspective. It's very interesting. Yeah, like how he views like life and stuff, and of course with his mother and stuff, which we'll get yes. to. Um, so uh, yeah, Bates basically um gets her the room key and she he asks her if she's hungry and she, uh, just tells being very her, friendly yeah she he tells her about uh this restaurant that's like 10 minutes away miles away it's yeah like 10, 10 yeah 10 miles away um and uh it's like eventually he just asks her, you're not really gonna go are you and she's like nope i'm not so he's like, hey, I'm having uh, dinner in a bit. Do you, do you want to eat dinner with me? And she's like, I, I guess, sure. And they just have that discussion that went on for probably yeah. a bit too long. Like, that felt like probably the longest scene in the movie. Yeah, but it was kind of needed just to see how... Yeah. Just to give him, like, his character some some more, more traits and development. Yeah. Just basic storytelling. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so, like, um, horse, I think, gets in the shower, um, gets killed. Mm-hmm. Um, Famous shower scene. Shower scene. Yeah, the, the most, like, probably one of the most famous scenes in movie history. Yeah. Like, like everyone knows about it. Yeah. It's like, it's like so weird. Like everyone knows the scene, but they haven't seen the movie. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. So he they the, he dumps her into like the river. Kind of looked like a swamp though, more than a yeah. river. But um, then there's like an investigation because of course she's missing, and of course she stole forty thousand dollars, which yeah. is kind of a big deal in the sixties. Yeah, yeah. Like even now, that's kind of a lot. Yeah. Um. I mean, honestly, that's like a car at least yeah but yeah it was kind of funny like well not really like funny but like it's kind of like weird like now how like some when they were talking about prices how like cheap they were like compared to like now like 10 bucks for a hotel room yeah (laughs) fucking 500 dollars for a car five yeah yeah like like 700 jeez wish i was wish those prices were still here holy yeah um so yeah, there's of course an investigation. They go to the boyfriend. They like the detectives like, Jeff and followed with her sister, and they're like trying to. He's like, yeah, I haven't seen her in like, a while. Yeah. Because she was. They said like she was supposed to um, drop the money off at the bank because I think her boss told her to. Or, yeah. Or the guy that was flirting with her. Mm-hmm. But she just took off the money and bailed like because. The boss saw her like leaving and stuff, so yeah, that's yeah. how the that started. So there's an investigation. Um, they went around like all different hotels, motels, or whatever, looking yeah. for her just for any leads or anything. Um, the detective wounds up at the Bates Motel. Um, Norman's. He wasn't. He was like. He was like, yeah, I haven't seen like I don't know like who you're like talking about and stuff but then he's like oh yeah I, she just checked in and then left in the morning and i haven't seen her since yeah but yeah so then he um he calls like i think um loomis and um the sister and was like you know um she was at the Bates motel and stuff um but he was very um suspicious of the Bates house yeah so he goes back in and of course is killed by yeah which we'll get to Uh uh-huh um so now two people are missing the detective and the um Marion so the um Loomis and the sister they just decide to go up to the hotel and um they think they visit the sheriff I think too and they t- talk about like what happened and he's they talk about Norman Bates and they said like you know um yeah her um they said because they bring up that 
there's like an old that they see an old woman in the window and stuff and the sheriff's like yeah well um you know um his mother's been dead for like 10 years she's like buried in the cemetery she committed suicide and murdered um like her like lover or whatever yeah so and they were like so who's this old woman in the house and stuff so they go up um they have this like plan like um like the loomis will keep norman busy because he's he seems to be pretty antsy about the house i think like everyone can tell that he's pretty he doesn't want anybody in the house like, yeah um and you have and um and the the sister will go up to the house and take a look around so that does not work out well um he um loomis gets knocked out by norman and norman runs to the house um the sister finds like the bed is kind of like you can tell like there's like kind of a shape like yeah. kind of and so she keeps looking around it seems very suspicious so she goes down to the cellar and she turns the chair and oh man you see when you when they turn and see the the mother that was like terrifying that was probably the scariest scene yeah like that the mother just dead and like, like that i was, was kind of expecting that but still I yeah guess, like. so then and then you hear like the the classic like kind of suspense music and then norman like dressed as like his mother just comes after um the sister but um loomis is like behind him and um restrains him yeah. and he just looks absolutely terrifying yeah um Sean holds the knife behind yeah. uh, Norman and he's just screaming very like maniacally it was very very yeah. creepy um so they take him to like the police station and the psychiatrist I don't know if it was a psychiatrist but it kind of felt like it um they kind of had this whole monologue about um about kind of like the psyche of Norman and how the mother personality just completely took over and yeah. um so there's like this whole speech and um i thought it was pretty interesting yeah um but like kind of like one of the creepiest parts for me is when at the end when they're at the police station and he's like um the police officer like um can i give him this like blanket he said he's like cold so he goes in and you hear like an old woman saying thank you and that was like pretty creepy yeah like that he can do like an old woman voice like so weird like it was and then just the the final shot of him just like looking up and like doing that like creepy grin that was just yeah terrible. they'll know I didn't do because I won't have this fly that's in my hands yeah and all of a sudden he just does this Jack's Films logo smile at yeah. the camera yeah and then like the final shot is just them pulling um Marion's car and out of the the swamp or like yeah. whatever so yeah um this like I I was like, I was expect I was gonna go I was going into this being like you know um like everyone just praises it for being like so iconic and stuff and yeah but I I was I loved this movie I thought yeah. this was great um definitely I would definitely make a tradition to watch this like every October like it's very very ominous very creepy mm. um yeah so um, any other thoughts you want um. I, I really didn't know what expects going to this movie. Um, like honestly, we went, when you just got to my house, I was just like still trying to wake up. <laughs> and I, I like woke up 20 minutes before you got to my house and shit. And I was like, oh, he's here. Okay, that's, yeah, that's nice. Um, but yeah, basically we just started watching the movie and the first five minutes I was like, I, I do not know what's happening right now. <laughs> Like, this is going weird. Like, I know this is a 1960s movie or something, but still, like, honestly. Um, but yeah. Um, I'd say the movie's okay. Uh, it's good, but of course, with old movies, it, some of it does not hold up well, in my opinion, with this movie. Um, but yeah, 
it, it's good moving nonetheless. Yeah. Yeah, I really like, and I also really like that it's in black and white because I'm. Yeah. Just, I really, I start, I kind of, I'm starting to like, um, starting to watch more black and white horror movies, and this was pretty. I this was awesome. I this was a very good ex. Yeah. This is a this is a very highly recommend for me. This is very, very um, this is like a very creepy movie. This kind of like set the, kind of like set the the table for like what modern horror movies are kind of like. Mm -hmm. Like this is a very important movie, and it's a very great movie too. So. Yeah. Um. Um. If I'm gonna be honest. This is a good movie. I, I don't wanna. I don't want to speak bad about it, but it is probably my least favorite movie we watched so far, in my opinion. Um, but it's still good. It's still good. Um, I'd probably give it a six point eight. I'm gonna give it a nine point four. Really, that high? Yeah. This. Wow. This was. This was great. I thought this was great. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, when I I can understand why you think it would be like dated and stuff, but yeah. you know, um, I kind of like. For me, when I try to watch like older movies, I just try to put myself like in the time. And yeah, just, yeah. Just be like, yeah, this takes place. Um, kind of like a historical kind of thing, like yeah. like how you would do like a historical movie, like oh this will take this takes place in the the sixties, so I'm gonna expect, you know, sixties dialogue and stuff. Kinda of, mm -hmm. kinda of like that. That's how I do it. That's how I watched um I watched recently um The Bride of Frankenstein from this that was movie from like nineteen like Either the late thirties or the early forties, and I I thought it was I thought it was great. Um, I could see why people don't wouldn't want to like watch or like um the older horror movies because like you know oh they're black and white they're boring yeah yeah, yeah. honestly I, I I cannot stand black and white to an extent. But I but if like I just like I thought it was enjoyable like you know you like they. Just I just would be like you know that's the time it takes place and so I'm yeah. not I don't mind that it's dated and stuff uh, like and like any other like kind of like it like oh it's in the eighties so I'm gonna expect like all these yeah. references and stuff so yeah um this was great highly recommended um so yeah yeah uh pretty good movie uh if you guys want to see it it's on Vimeo it's free. I'm gonna just search it up. It's 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 called Psycho. It's in the title of the video, and um, yeah. So I guess we said what we wanted to say. Yeah. Um, it was a pretty decent movie and shit. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it. Yep. Uh, goodbye. Gunham style.